So it seems that Jamie Foxx has confirmed that that is the case. Okay, nerds. Uh, it's not the biggest episode. It's not the smallest episode. There's a little bit of sad. There's going to be a little bit fast because I'm playing Beat the Battery and it's just been a long day. So all of that being said, thank you for joining me right here. I hope you enjoyed the little teaser and you stick around. Uh, in order to get more news, make sure you have subscribed and dinged the bell so that you know when I post these episodes. They go up twice a week, but the schedule will be changing very briefly uh, for the month of December, part of the month of November, part of the month of October, and the beginning part of the month of January. It's just that time of year where I start to take a lot of time off so I can work on the channel and you know move forward into the next season. So all of that being said let's get into the news so starting things off is music music always starts things off we have the sad piece we're going to kick things off with which kind of sucks eddie van halen passed away this morning he lost his battle to throat cancer uh he was 65 years old a moment of silence for eddie van halen Kind of makes the rest of the music section pale in comparison. We do have uh, some really funny news. Uh, Motorhead has a new article in their band store on their website. You can go check that out. It is a new mask that so you can look like Lemmy because everyone just wants to look like Lemmy. Uh, but also we have Rob Zombie making a kind of cryptic announcement about an announcement. Uh, new music, I believe. Yeah, an announcement about an announcement. New, new music coming soon, but that's all we know we will be keeping tabs so let's get into tv streaming uh we have a bunch of follow-ups so we're just going to hit the ground running first up is cobra kai we do have a release date for season three finally and that is january the 8th of 2021 we also have the uh, green light for season four so we will continue this story uh and then we're moving we're switching gears a little bit to glow also on netflix uh glow has been canceled there will not be a season four which is an about phase Netflix had previously announced that there would be a season four, but that is not the case. Uh, F is for family, also on the list of Netflix cancellations. Uh, going forward, they will air the final season, which is the fifth season, and then that is it for F is for family. And then the boys, uh, we did get an update there on the the spinoff series that is going to be based on the G Men from the books. So kind of what we were speculating. Uh, there, there is a lot of, uh, of uh, there is a lot to be mined. Let's put it that way in that area of the boys' lore. So uh, very interesting. Again, we will be keeping tabs. So our one actual piece of news has to do with uh, Ryan Murphy production. Uh, this is the same production staff. It seems that gave us Ratchet and the American Horror Story series. Uh, it's called Monster, a Jeffrey Dahmi, uh, the Jeffrey Dahmer story. Uh, it, it, it's been announced. It's happening. That is what it is. And we're moving on. Now let's talk about movies. And this is all follow-ups. So we have movie release dates have moved. So stick with me because there's a lot of move and movie words coming out right now. <laughs> uh, first up, we have Dune has been announced to now be releasing October 1st, 2021 which was the date for Batman. So now Batman has been moved back to uh, 2022. I believe it was March of 2022. It did not make it in the notes because I literally, just before I pushed the record button, uh, got this update. So it will make it into the notes as I'm going to uh, publish this. Uh, and then we have Terrifier has been moved. The Terrifier sequel now is in, in 2021 sometime. Uh, no Time to Die, the James Bond movie, has been moved to April of 2021. Monster Hunter has been moved to this coming December of 2020. And then we have Flashpoint got pushed back as well as Shazam 2 getting pushed back to 2023. And Black Adam has been removed from all release dates completely, which is very likely not going to stay that way, but it is what it is at the moment. Uh, so that is what we have for release date switch 
matchups. Now we're going to go into a little bit more detail on the Flashpoint. We do have word that Billy Crudup is in early negotiations to uh, return, presumably, as Baryon's dad. We say presumably because it was not made known what the negotiations are for him to play, but he has already appeared as Barry Allen's dad, so it would make sense that he would come back as Barry Allen's dad. Uh, then we're going to switch gears one last time in movies and talk about Resident Evil. We do have uh, the official casting announcement for the voice actors of that animated Resident Evil movie. Uh, we have, or no, I'm sorry. We have the live action. There's so many Resident Evils. Live action casting. So, Kea Skull, I'm, I'm going to mispronounce these. I apologize. Skoldelario, Skoldelario, uh, will be playing Claire Redfield. Hannah John Craman will be playing Jill Valentine. Robbie Amell, ah, uh, will be playing Chris Redfield. Tom Hopper, I don't know that name. I apologize. But will be playing Albert Res Wesker. Uh, Avon Yogia. Jogia, Yogia will be playing Leon S. Kennedy and Neil McDonough will be playing Willem Burkini or Birkin rather. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so that is our live action casting announcements. Let's switch gears one more time. We're talking gaming and tech. We do have an update on the cross play uh, for Apex Legends. It will be out this week. Uh, Respawn also says that the Switch version of the game is also still in development, so don't go anywhere, Switch players. And then our other follow-up for the week is Grand Theft Auto V is the most recent game to be announced to be getting the free upgrade when you get your uh, PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X. Uh, speaking of the Xbox Series X, we are now into new news. Uh, Series X apparently has the, all of the, the dev kits that have been uh, let go and all of the review kits that have been released are apparently super freaking hot. So hot so that one of the reviewers said that you could probably heat your apartment with the power brick from the Series X. So be aware. It doesn't sound like anything started on fire. It doesn't sound like anything is being ruined by it just yet, but we will probably hear more about that in, in days and weeks to come. Uh, and then our next piece has to do with the Blair Witch. A new Blair Witch game has been announced. This one is going to be basically a remaster of the previous game but for VR platforms and it will be releasing on the Oculus first. Uh, Oculus Quest will be getting the game on October 29th with other VR platforms receiving it in the months to follow. There were no specific dates beyond the October 29th date. And then this morning also Ed Boon gave us an, uh, a Mortal Kombat 11 update about an update. So October 8th, we will be seeing something new in the Mortal Kombat announcement realm. So we will be keeping tabs on that. It will go in the follow-ups when we get there. Uh, now we're going to switch gears one more time, talking about comic books. We have one piece to talk about here, and that is a follow-up and the Arkham Asylum book. So Grant Morrison's groundbreaking, amazing piece of work, Arkham Asylum, that came out in 1989, was apparently getting a sequel, but now Morrison, being as he is working on a bunch of television projects, not uh, least of which is Brave New World and his Invisibles book getting tr translated to television, uh, we have that... Uh, that's getting in the way of us getting an Arkham Asylum sequel. He says it is still on the back burner, so it could still happen, but in the near future, it is not going to be happening. That is unfortunate, but that's all we've got there. Now we're moving over to the rumor mill. And in Rumor Mill, for the rumors this episode, uh, we're actually adding a, a small portion. So a subsection, much like we have the follow-ups and corrections in the other sections, we now have confirmations and refutations for the Rumor Mill. So our first confirmation, as for this section anyway, has to do with Electro. Remember, previously we were talking about how that Electro is not going to be the same Electro we got in the... Uh, in, Andrew Garfield, sorry, first day with the new mouth, the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man uh, movie. So it seems that Jamie Foxx has confirmed that that is the case. Jamie Foxx said that the new Electro will not be blue, referred to him as the new Electro, and has published some fan art kind of highlighting this fact. So follow the link in the description to see that. And then as far as rumors go, we have a couple of things for Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Uh, we have rumors that Emily Blunt will be bring, will be coming in as a version of the Black Widow, much like Tom Cruise is reportedly coming in as a version of Iron Man. We also have John Krasinski rumored to be brought in as Hydra Cap from a different alternate universe as well. Uh, likelihood that these two things are going to be happening. I bet, I, I feel like this is, I feel like this is pretty strong. I'm going to say 60% for both of these. 60% likelihood 
both of these are going to happen. Uh, Spider-Man 3, we have a new rumor that we're going to get cameos from both Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield in the next in Spider-Man 3. Uh, and somehow this is all going to link into WandaVision and the Loki series. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like what little we know about Feige's plans going forward, this makes sense. Uh, I, uh, we also are reportedly going to get a, a final farewell to Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man because apparently that's something the fans want. Uh, considering, oh, and, and then we'll, there's one more rumor, but let's talk about this one first. Considering the source, I can't give it a whole lot of credence, but considering also what we know once again about Feige and his plans going forward, I feel like that gives it a little bit more credence. So I'm going to say 40% likelihood that we're going to be seeing some sort of Spider-Verse action in the next Spider-Man movie. And then continuing with that ish, uh, reportedly this movie will be our introduction to the live action Miles Morales. I feel like this is a lot more likely because it's technically a different Spider-Man, they're not all playing Peter Parker. This Miles Morales would be a new uh, character, so I feel like that's a little bit more likely. I don't know how they're going to play that, but uh, I'm going to say 50-50 for Miles Morales. Uh, next, we're talking about Deadpool. And technically, this is actually a little bit more Ryan Reynolds. Uh, Ryan Reynolds is reportedly going to be signing a contract with Kevin Feige that is supposed to be the largest MCU contract ever, which is leading to a bunch of rumors saying that we're going to be seeing a lot of Deadpool, uh, not just Deadpool 3 through 5, but also Deadpool cameos and basically everything going forward. And with Hollywood being in its state of shutdown kind of perpetually at the moment, uh, this seems more and more likely as the days continue because as we get further away from the uh, projects we already know Reynolds is doing, this becomes more of a likely scenario. So as it stands this very moment, I'm going to say 50, 50% chance that that is the case. If nothing moves forward in other projects going from here, that likelihood will very much increase. Uh, and then our final piece of rumor and final piece for the episode has to do with the Joker. There is a new rumor that the Joker sequel that keeps getting rumored, even though I don't believe it's going to happen, at least not a direct sequel. Uh, the new rumor about it is that there's going to be multiple versions of the Joker in the Joker sequel. The Ro Joaquin Phoenix movie is going to get a sequel that will not have Joaquin in it, but will have a number of other Jokers that spawned from that crazy night. Uh, and that is kind of the basis of the rumor uh the the source is super lacking so i feel like this one's more of a 20 percent likelihood to be happening and that is everything we have for rumors as well as everything for the episode so what did i miss what should we talk about in the next one let me know in the comments down low if though you want to go deeper in the conversation jump over to the website generally nerdy.net or the patreon patreon.com slash generally nerdy and you can help support that way. You can find all of the other things. It's going to be so awesome. Uh, or, you know, all of the other social medias are linked down in the description. So thank you very much, nerds. If you're falling behind in your nerd news and you want to catch up, then click or tap two boxes right there below my face to do that. Don't forget to subscribe and do all the things. And before we head out, always, always remember that if it's generally nerdy, it's probably here. <laughs>